today is Gabo's actual birthday, his actual birthday, 40 years old, big birthday. So today I am really excited because I'm going down to Gabo's house about two hours away, maybe two and a half hours. We're gonna go to his house, he's having a little get together. And I'm gonna go look at his game room, which I've only seen one time, but I'm also gonna give him something this is his actual birthday present that I'm giving him. I'm going to give him the Xbox sign that I recently got on an NES Pursuit expansion pack. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a good day. But uh, I love the thing. My wife kind of influenced me a little bit to give Gabo the gift because she knew he would love it. She knew he's an Xbox collector. So there's a little bit of credit to my wife on this one. I I'm happy. It's like one of those things where you're like happy in your heart that you're doing a doing a good deed. But at the same time, I'm like this. This might be a terrible mistake. Let's go to Gabo's. It is. It was a long drive down to his house, kind of through the desert and areas like that, but I'm here. I just got here, it was a long drive. I'm ready to give him his birthday gift. Check out his game room first, actually. I'm at his house, and I walk in right away. Happy birthday! It's my birthday! Yeah. It's my birthday! How old? Oh, no. He's got this whole, like, halo setup going. Props to his wife and some of his wife's friends, because... You want some cheese? Come on, cheese. Cheese! They got this cool setup going. It feels really good to be in there. There's a lot of master chiefs all around the house, but now. Let me show you my manscape, my game room. Your manscape? Yeah. Now it's time to go in the giver's game room. See if he's gonna give me something for going into his game room. I know it's not my birthday. Come on, join us. I mean, join me. game room. I like to call it like a full collector. F-U-L-L, not F-O-O-L. Well, that too. He's the kind of guy that doesn't necessarily have like a complete NES collection or complete this collection or complete that collection. It's more like a broad span of collection. This is where I put all my video games figures and I got some Star Wars. I don't know if I ever told you that I love Darth Vader. I'm a big fan of Darth Vader. It's kind of like every console, toy, knickknack, anything. He kind of has a large amount of stuff for a lot of different amount of things. I don't know if you guys, well, we didn't film that, but I got this in a, in a very good price in my first E3. It's kind of kind of how I collect as well, but I think he has a little more bulk style of doing it. So here you can see I'm a very big fan of my Amiibos, and this is the area that I have. So I think this is my more, my most precious one. Look at that. Then he's got some of his like disc-based stuff, a lot of different Sega stuff mixed with the Sony stuff. Uh, over here I got Sega CD. I got some PS1 games, the long box. I love long box. The PlayStation stuff everywhere. Sega Saturn, PS3, and PS2. PS1, I got some GameCube games, Wii, I got Wii U over here. I got some DS games. So I don't know if I ever told you I'm big, big fan of Walking Dead. Here's my Walking Dead Pops wall. I think Mikey has to be proud of me. Mikey, I love you! How you doing, Ricky? I'm a big collector of War of Nintendo toys. Most recently, I stopped. I think this is the the first wave, and this is the second wave. He's got a setup of consoles, good to go as every good game room does, has their stuff. I got the good old boring PS4 Pro that actually I'm not playing. Ready to play. What the stuff that you play most is normally the stuff that's set up. I got my Wii U over here, my Zelda Wii U edition. You need always have to have a OG Xbox. Uh, I got a Sega CDX. It's not plugged, but it looks good over there. Whatever. I got my all good PS3, the fat one, and I use it to play PS1 and PS2 games. And my real, unbelievable, my baby. I love him so much. <laughs> Come on, baby. My Taco Bell 
edition Xbox One X. What the heck's wrong with him? No! Nice! So it feels good to be in his game room. You know, it's nice not to see where I got all my stuff so often. I see Ricky's stuff all the time. He's back! Oh, the, what was episode your name? 98 zone. What was <laughs> it? Ice D. I love that he knows what episode it was. <laughs> but I don't get to see Gabo's stuff too often because he lives so far in the middle of nowhere. Gabo is a magical sentient being. Gabo is a magical sentient being. He lives in the middle of nowhere. And that's my game room. Now get out of here. I could see hawks, like rare endangered species, like ah, perched above his house because it's literally, like I said, in the middle of nowhere. Gabo, you need to move closer to me and Ricky. Look at I, I forgot to tell you guys, this is all stuff Gabo through the like months, whenever we see stuff like on at different stores, we text each other. And look, Gabo's been picking, this is all stuff he's picked up for me through the past uh, few weeks and whatnot and months. Okay. So a lot of cool stuff. Daredevil, DuckTales, 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 Turtles, X-Men, G.I. Joe, some sealed VHS. Jet Li, right? Yeah, Jet Li. And Defenders of the Earth. These are awesome. And other things. Thanks, Gabo. You're just, you're a blessing to my soul and a thorn in my side. We walk out, we go on a little stroll to my car. I have Gabo kind of face the other way. Well, I guess I need to close my eyes. But you hey, can- turn the other way, face him, don't- but, but you can see it because I got glasses. And I went and got the Xbox sign and I got him and I was, I was pretty happy once I pulled it out, like, okay, I get to give him this. I don't like, I don't like the sound of that. What do you think it is? So I had him kind of, okay, here you go, open your hands. I wanna. Here you go. Oh my god. Take it easy, all right? There's already a crack in this. You have to be careful with oh it. Oh my god, dude. I cannot believe Rifo gave me that sign. OG, original Xbox sign. I got this recently from the swap meet. I really appreciate it. He's amazing. No, and my wife actually was part of the person oh that convinced me to god. get it to you. No for, way. For, yeah. He's a good sign. So it was your wife, not you? It was me too, but it was, it was a reluctant but very willing to give it to you. And he checked it out. From what I could tell, he was very excited to have it. I'm happy he gets Thank it. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Oh my Enjoy. God, it's amazing. Look I don't know about it, told you. Look at this. I hope he puts it somewhere cool. Yeah, yeah this is so, I talked to Juan, he said this was a, a, a store display sign back in the day. So. Oh, bro, thank you so much. You're welcome. So cool. Come on, baby, light my fire. We're going to Mondo's for the trade event. It's gonna be nice. I'm excited. Me? I have been to one of these in a while. Me too. I don't remember, the la dude, last time we went, he was still at the old store. This is a brand new store he moved to. All right, so the time has come. We are finally gonna go see Mondo's new store. So it's gonna be, I'm pretty excited to see the store, truth be told. The reason we're going is not just to look at his store, but we're also having an event there. See ya. See ya. See ya. Have a good <laughs> NES Pursuit. Okay, bye. Pixel Vault, here we come. Why am I going sideways? I'm excited to see Mondo's store. We've been to his shop before on NES Pursuit with me and Complex, where Ricky showed up randomly, by the way. But uh, I'm excited. I always like going to new stores, kind of see the setup and see the, the birth of a new retro store. The birth of retro. That's my my birth. That's great. Hello, sir. Um, sir. So we're here. We are at Pixel Vault. It's exciting to be here because we drive by and we see all these different people set up. There's swap meets here, there's food, there's toys, there's games everywhere. It seems like there's stuff everywhere at this place. So, all right, we did it. We made the drive like 45 minutes. Woo. Now it's time to go. Gabo's here. We saw we saw the place. I haven't walked up yet. So, uh, let's go. Dude, Ricky, Ricky. I'm more Patrick. than excited, especially when it's like your community, your community people. Gabo, please, I don't want that in my beanie. When we got there, the first thing uh, 
some fan of the show stop us and I seen this guy before in the other events and he always super good with us. Gabo the Giver, this is for you my friend. Oh my what god, god. Yes. I know he's a big Xbox 360 fan or Xbox fan. So wait, 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 wait. So he gave me this big Xbox 360 bag. So nice! Oh my god. A new smell. Smell OG. Yeah. Thank you very much my friend. Gracias. This guy is always super cool with me. So after kind of just lightly peeking through everything outside, I definitely wanted to check out Armando's store, his new location at Pixel Vault. So we go in. Uh, yeah. oh. This is nice, Mondo. I like this. This is cool. I like the tall ceilings in here, Mondo. Thank it you. It feels very open. And I love it, man. I love when people are kind of getting their, their footing and getting everything in a place and getting everything where they want it to be. Yeah, okay. But yeah, this the, the whole intention when I, when I got this place was, see that awning right there? Yes. So me and some friends, we, we built that. Armando's store, I love that he has like a lot of collector stuff that he makes. He has a lot of bright colors. And then uh, the whole intention was so that way I could put stuff up there and kind of show off some artwork. Something I also like too in the store, which is really important for me, I always feel like it opens up in a room, is with the really high ceilings in there. So what you think? I don't know, man. I heard him say, yeah, take it. It's always cool to see someone that takes their love for retro and takes it to the next level and opens up some sort of brick and mortar store or anything that really shows their love in a whole different way. So Armando, the store's awesome. Oh. Can you see my eyes? You nope. can, no, that's what's cool. Yeah, you can. Wow. One of the things that has caught my eye at Mondo's store for the longest time is this little Mario mug with legs. It's got the cup. Ooh. And the insulation. Nice. It's a, it's a thermos slash pencil holder. It, it, it does everything, okay? This thing's cool. It's beyond cool. There you go, Ricky. Any real Mario collector would have that. Yeah. yeah. Sport that in your office, bro. I wanted it, but I only want it because I already have one, but that one's sealed, and I don't want to break the seal on that thing. You guys want the truth? I have this sealed, I just didn't want to open it. That's why I was like, if I find a loose one, maybe. I asked Mondo, I'm like, bro, how much you want for it? He's like, well, I think 30 bucks is a fair price. 30 bucks? Yeah. It's not a bad deal, but when you already have something. You know what he smells like? What? A purchase. I almost traded some games for it, but it just, in the end, it, it didn't work out. Uh, I'm a little bummed I didn't get it, but it's okay. I mean, technically I have it, so. I talk to all, <laughs> you know how many game stores I go to and get the facts? Nice! Ricky, you suck at game, bro. I see what Ricky's doing, and I see him working out something with Armando, or maybe not working it out, but all I can focus on is behind him, I see these Zen the Intergalactic Ninja figures. There's six of them, I think six or seven. <laughs> hey, how much is Zen? And they're all complete <laughs> in the box, on card, as they call it, and they all even have comic books that come with it. <laughs> Now Zen the Intergalactic Ninja did start as a comic book series, which I was never into or anything like that, but I love Zen the Intergalactic Ninja on the Nintendo. All right, so Zen, that's kind of where I got, uh, my my interest was peaked when I saw them. You won't need any of these? Oh, I have this too. I know these are going, uh, they're becoming a thing now. It's my favorite game. And I have these, these are all sealed. And I'm looking at them and I'm like, these has gotta be kind of a decent price. You know, they're old, they're complete. And Armando goes, I'll give them to y'all for 40 bucks. And I'm like, that's a really, really good deal. I would actually take that, but I have some trade in my backpack. Do you want any of these? Or whatever you think is fair to equal your $40. Sealed Wii U games, I play my Wii U a lot, but my kids are like, Dad, why don't you just do something with the sealed games that you're not, you won't let us play anyway. So I'm like, okay, let's see. So I take them for trade. 
for Zen. What do you think is fair to equal the $40? Honestly, I, I'll be honest with you, I don't I don't look at prices of really video games anymore. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. And Armando kind of looks through my sealed Wii U games and he just straight up says, I'll take Shantae and do an even trade. I'll I'm take that Shantae. My sealed Shantae and I'm like, dude, that's that's a really good deal because I think Shantae is only like 30 bucks sealed. Nice. Just for that though, I feel kind of bad. I feel like that's no, a little No, it's low. because, see, see. I ended up throwing him Captain Toad sealed. I know, I know it doesn't really add much to it, but I just wanted to give him something extra so I don't feel bad at the end of the day. <laughs> just to throw it for him, <laughs> so I don't feel as bad about myself. But now I have the Zen the Intergalactic Ninja figures. All these Zen the Intergalactic Ninja figures, they are beautiful, they're cool. I love seeing the comics in the back. I don't see many toy lines do that. I don't see comics built in to these things, full size comics. And so all these, so Zen, by the way, is a comic series. It was originally a comic series from my understanding, then became an NES game. And the best thing is just knowing that I got something that's like different. You know, I don't really run across Zen toys. These are really cool and to be able to get all of these. So uh, maybe I'll hook you up with some, you know? Cause after I drove away, I was like, beautiful. Very cool. This, this is actually a pricey uh, Nintendo game as well on the NES. This is a pricey one. I think these are worth a little more than I paid. We'll do that off camera for, uh, we call it uh, retro at night. It's a different series we have. Oh my gosh, scoot back. All right. Happiness! What's up, bro? Ugh. Oh my god. It's a uh, warm sand, I guess. So we're in Russell's booth and he has a lot of stuff that I'm really into. First thing that I really want are these strategy guides. They're not official Nintendo, but. All right, so I'm going for all these strategy guides. They're not official Nintendo, but dude, look at this art. You mean Bart? Well, yeah, Bart. I mean, the art on them is just so nice. Anything like Nintendo Power, that kind of stuff, the Sega Visions, dude, I have to pick it up. I There's something about that. This, I think this is the one that sold me. I was like, bro. I need that one. And I can't just get one, I need all, I don't know. I don't know what it is, it's like beautiful art. It's 90s art, 80s art. So yeah, I, all this stuff mostly comes from the swap meet. So all these magazines that he got, I got them from the swap meet. And this. But the other thing that he had was this sweet black uh, Super Nintendo holder, uh, game holder. Dude, cool for my Super Nintendo games. This is the Super Nintendo. Game hold. Look at that. It's a black one too. I think even the box I got from the swap meet. It was full of games when I got it. So if this is the right price, I'm gonna get it. I'm like, hey bro, how much you want for this? 20 bucks. I was like, dude, that's way cheaper than the eBay price, and I'm definitely gonna pick that up as well. So I picked them both up for 40. Two. I usually only see the gray one. So why not get the black? Happiness! I do feel a sense of <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Oh, clean. Did you see what he just did? He gave me the seal. Suffering ties that. I, I, I didn't do anything. I didn't do his family, so, you know, I'm just giving him an early Christmas present. Hug, it's true, hug, we both hug, have the same last hug, name. Hug, 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 <laughs> hug. Dude, thanks, brother. Definitely, brother. Definitely. I was like thinking about it. Oh! So, all the boots have really good stuff, but right in the last boot, I think it's Russell's name, right? Russell, you're awesome. Anyways, he got something that caught my eye. Now, what are you getting, Gabo? I'm getting this beautiful console. I don't know if I ever told you that I collect different kind of Xbox. <laughs> this is so beautiful, look at this. Let's see it. Should we see it? Yeah, open it up. Open it. Uh, open, open it. Ricky, what the freak, man? All right, come on, keep going. I need you to do this good. <laughs> In this, hey, he did not find it. <laughs> that was me. Shut up! Something uh, caught my eye. Something caught Ricky's eye, and he pointed it out to Gabo. <laughs> all right, all right. It was Ricky. Ricky saw it first, and he was like, "Hey, dude, you collect this? You want it?" Insert Zelda chest music. And it's the Star Wars Expo 360. I don't know if I ever told you, it's been a long time looking for that one. Oh wow, it's clean too. I think it looks like the 
Oh yeah, it has all the inserts and everything. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's even got the connect, which usually is always gone. <laughs> is it like a, it's actual like Star Wars connect? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, look at it. It's, it's like the white one. And the best thing, it was a really good price. Actually, that console this month is gonna is his birthday, 14th birthday. That console came out in November of 2005. I think that's the only one that came with the white connect. Even has the receipt. How much was it? Let's see. Let me see. GameStop. Oh, it's dated. I cannot see anything. When we opened the console, it was a little dirty, but nothing, nothing wrong. The only thing missing is the controller, but it got everything, even the game. Ricky, stop looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like a galaxy far, far away. It got all the inserts, all the paper, and it smells really export good. I've been looking for this thing for a long time. Yes. Happiness. Let me tell you what is the best thing about that console. When you turn it on, it do like... thing I saw at Russell's booth, I kind of left it the first time, was this Grimlock. It was missing its arms, but dude, I was walking through the whole air, the, the whole, all the booths, and I, I just keep hearing Grimlock, Grimlock in the back. I'm like, man, I need to get this Grimlock. I'm gonna buy this Grimlock. I mean, he's missing his arms and the crown, but it's really expensive. If I can get it for a fraction of a price, I'll just transform him, that way you don't notice. I, I, I just couldn't hold out anymore. I went right up to Russell, but like, bro, would you take 15 for this sweet Grimlock? He said yes. <laughs> for 15 bucks. No way. So, there you go, bro. Thank you, good sir. Enjoy. You know what? For a Grimlock Masterpiece one, I, I can't tell if it's the Toys R Us one or the Masterpiece one, but I'll find out soon or not. Enjoy. Thank you. I, I think I bought all my stuff from Russell today. <laughs> what, Andrew? Happy yeah. man. When we finally take it away, I, I open it up and it had the crown in it. Unless you got really excited that his crown was there. That's pretty bad to the bone. I just need his arms. But you know what? 3D print or find them online, whatever. Which was pretty cool. I mean, I got King Grimlock. Sick. Transformers, Robo Cindy. You just ruined Transformers for me. <laughs> And waiting in this house street when that train is not moving, but the other one is moving. Reflecting on my past course and the dozen as much time. Because at 11 o'clock we're going. So it was a super fun day at Pixel Vault Games. Not even just the store, but the community around it. Toys everywhere, good people, good attitudes. We got to hang out with Kevin Kenson for a little bit. It was just a super fun time. Cue the loud vehicle behind me. Thank you for visiting my game room. I'm still waiting for Ricky, Complex, and Mikey, but whatever. It is what it is. And Armando, thank you for your amazing event. It was awesome. Thank you for all the friends. So I got this one for seven bucks. Really good price. Never play it, but I hear good things about it. Thank you for everything, man. Everything. Where are you going? Say bye, Ricky. Bye, guys. Love you guys. Thanks for everything. Happy man. Happy man. I wish he fall. Happy man. Don't you dare. <laughs> it's turtle, Toto. Turtle. 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 What a Bingo, bango. Bingo, bango. Got crown in my mouth. In my teeth. <laughs> what? <laughs> you are it. Nice. Thank you, Kelly. Fluffy man. I can't use it because I have one. I saw that. I was like, dude, looks like we're not gonna be on Amazon anymore. <laughs> Amazon, more like Amazon. <laughs> what? Happy man. Which one should I do? Wait, why is everyone it's, laughing? I wish, I only wish they came out with a Chewbacca console. And when you turn it on, it do like, ah! Think for you're the man. Gabo, you gonna give me a gift? Wow. Ow.
Oh, that's called skin, Gabo. See? That's, I grabbed something. That's literally here. skin. Ah, come on, see, go. I really, I really love the crack. Look Another it. early birthday nice. present for Ricky. Thank you, Bobby. <laughs> Happiness. Yay! Yeah. Oh, and enjoy our party, <laughs> Mr. Indiana Jones. I should be the real Indiana Jones. This guy just, I'm like, hey, you want this? Oh, yo, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Somewhere, somewhere around. <laughs> this isn't an expansion. Nope. <laughs> yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie about it. Come on, man, it's the truth. I bought this, I'm like, really cool, Ricky. Mikey, Mikey, Mikey and Ricky had a baby and it's this guy. How are you? <laughs> so, this is my boss! And mine. <laughs> this is my son. Aww. Look at this. Happiness. Happiness. <laughs> Don't step on your phone, bro. Now I, I feel strong. Got all 165 pounds in me. Dang, way to be getting great I think we want to buy stuff. Ah, Happiness. <laughs> what? Friendship. Oh, you said that's what real friends do. Happiness! Oh, I love it. Easy, buddy. Happiness, man. You see that? Stop, no. Whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Nothing, it looks good. It's nice and hot. Ricky's saying no behind the camera. He ain't helping nobody. Walk like in the chair. <laughs> I need to take the trash out. Let's go take out the Ricky. Hey, come on, not me. Oh, nice joke. <laughs> come on, baby, light my fire. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dad. Yeah, like always, everybody. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Get him, Gabo! Get him! Get him! Get him! Look! 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 The Mexican Chewbacca! <laughs> <laughs>